Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a pen case for review and this has come from John at St John's Pens. And I'd like to thank John for loaning me this pen case for review. Now this is 100% leather and it's a beautiful, beautiful case. Uh, it's a sort of a, a more of a black very dark brown almost I, I would say it's a black uh, case now you get a number of different types of leather and you get cowhide leather you can get crocodile leather this is crocodile leather and crocodile leather is not cheap by any stretch so this is a very expensive pen case now this is very similar to the Estabrook cases. It's a draw case. So you can see here, this is removable, the whole case. And you then have this. And this will hold all of your pens. You have a nice leather backing here as well. It's all in a cream color. And you can see here the texture as well. This is all leather as well. So it's actually a really really nice case but in terms of pens what pens can I put in here here's a Pelican M800 and you'll see there that there is a base part to the pen uh, I will put in a Pelican M1000 and that will fit there another Pelican M1000 and a Sailor King of Pen will just about fit in here. It is quite tight. Uh, like You're not going to have a lot of space. Now, this case here at the moment will not fit an ASC Bologna. Now, John says that he is going to try and get some of these made that are going to be just about a centimetre or so taller so that you will be able to put in an ASC Bologna. I can't say whether or not you'll be able to put in one of these pens, probably won't even fit width-wise, and that's the uh, William Shakur Titan pen. But I would say probably that most pens, in terms of length, don't get much longer than an ASC Bologna. So at the moment, these unfortunately will not fit in the pen case. But you can see here that these pens are actually quite secure. Now they will roll about a bit if you kept them maybe in a backpack or a rucksack but I love these pen drawers I really really do like them now I did say that this is crocodile leather it's real crocodile leather so the price of this pen case because of it being crocodile leather is expensive then I would say that this is a pen case that will not only protect your pens very well will look very classy and you can remove the whole case and just leave it there on your desk if you want to so for me this is a really really nice case it is built very well and i really can't fault it the the case i think the workmanship on the case is done very very well it's a good quality case it's good quality leather but you are paying a premium there but if you have expensive pens uh, grail pens and this is something that you want to protect these with then this is a really good case now would i like one of these cases definitely I would I think for me that's a little bit too much but I know there are some collectors out there that would want to pay that much it really comes down to how many pens you have if you've only got five or six pens and this could be ideal now I've spoken to John and these are made in Spain and that may drive the price up a little bit as well because they're not made in China or they're not made in Asia so the price of these can probably be made a lot cheaper probably in China or in Asia however I do like these I think they are probably worth the price 
I think I would much rather prefer the cowhide leather version. John says that he's going to try and get these made a little bit taller by about a centimeter, maybe centimeter and a half, because that way then we can put some ASC bolognas in there. He's also going to try and see if we can actually get six pens instead of five pens. He's also, in the near future, going to have probably a 12 pen case of this as well. So these will be probably not here for the London pen show. That He'll have a few of these on his uh, table, I'm sure. But they will be these five pen cases. And probably this one will be on there when I take it back to John uh, at London. But in the coming months uh, and for the rest of the year, hopefully he'll have some six pen cases. If he can get those made. And also some 12 pen cases. So... I really like the design of this. I like that it's leather. I like that they're really protecting my pens. And for me, this is a win-win case. John also has some leather versions, some cowhide leather versions. I do have another case here that I will review, which is a £120 case. And you'll see that as well. But for me, I love the design of this. I, I think this is a win-win situation. I like the Visconti cases. Uh, I have a Visconti six pen case. And this is the Visconti six pen case. So you can see this side by side. These Visconti cases are actually quite nice. They just fell inside. But equally, you can see that the quality is so much better. And you can see the whole of the pen as well, not just maybe if I put the Bologna in here just part of the pen so for me I do think that this case that John has here that's made in Spain uh, really will be a good addition uh, to a lot of people's pen carrying regime so I'd like to thank John at stjohnspens.com for loaning me this pen case for review. If you haven't checked out John, check him out at stjohnspens.com. He's also St. John's Pens on Instagram as well. Uh, he's also at all of the UK pen shows in 2020 and probably beyond as well, and all of the pen shows uh, in Europe. So do check him out there if you get the chance or check him out on Instagram, or check him out on stjohnspens.com. So that's my review of this lovely five pen crocodile leather case. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.